as a next step in building the login component, let us define the functionality and behavior of the custom properties, methods and events that we have added. In the on click of the sign in button, we want to perform an identity service call to the fabric and based on the response, we want to invoke either login success or login failure custom events that we have defined. In the on click of this sign in button, let us invoke the identity service. and map the text property of the username text box and password text box as inputs to this service. In the success callback, we want to raise an event of login success and in the failure callback raise an event of login failure. In the login success and login failure events we want to pass the response that we got in case of login success and the error that we got in case of login failure. So let us go back to the components events definition and add the parameters to the login success and login failure events. Now if we go back to the action sequence that we are defining for the sign in on click event, in the success callback where we raise the event login success, we will see the input parameters. With this, we have defined the on click of this sign in button which will invoke the identity service by passing the text that is entered in the username text box and the password text box and based on whether the authentication is successful we will raise the event login success and in case of failure we will raise the event login failure. The actual action sequence for the login success and the login failure will be defined by the consumer of the component wherever this component will be used on the form. We also had a custom property that is login failure message let us define the getters and setters for this custom property. Go to the controller of the component and define the getter and setter in the init getter setters method. Let us define a local private variable with some default value. Now let's define the getter and setter for this login failure message custom property. This is how we will define the getters and setters for any custom properties that we have defined for the component. In this case, we are not using this login failure custom property anywhere, but still we will have to define the getter and setter methods for 
every custom property that we have defined at the component level. Let us also define the functionality behind the methods that we are exposing as part of this components contract. That is the get username and get password methods. Define the methods corresponding to the two custom methods that we have created. Now that we have defined all the functionality of our component, let us consume the component by creating a form inside the project. Once you have consumed the component inside a form at the component level, now we can see all the pass through properties that we have defined and the custom properties that we have defined. In the skins, we will be able to see the exposed skins, the login background skin, the login card background skin and other skins that we have exposed for this component. And in the actions, along with the general actions, the custom actions that we have defined at the component level will be shown here. Let us navigate to the controller of the form and define the methods that we want to use in the login success and login failure events of this component. Now that we have defined the functions that we want to use as part of login failure and login success events, let us map these functions to those events. Select the component inside the form and invoke function. Similarly for the login success invoke function now that we have consumed the component inside the form and also defined the login success callback and login failure callback let us run this application and test the functionality of this component As we can see here, this is how the app looks like on the device after entering the username and password. When we click on sign in, the component authenticates against the fabrics identity service and it comes back and executes the success callback that we have configured in the forms controller. For any incorrect username and password, the component executes the identity service that we have configured at the component level and it comes back and executes the error callback that we have configured at the form level. We can now export this component along with the UI of the component and the functionality that is present in the UI of the component the services that are associated with this component will also get exported. In this case, the identity service will also get exported. When we use this component on a different project, along with the UI part of the component, the services part of the component will also be imported into the new project in which we will be using this component. So this is how we can package the UI part, the functionality, also the fabric services part into a component and we can expose the component to other users developers to be able to reuse the work so this is how we can create a component with contract and we can define custom properties pass through properties custom events pass through events custom methods pass through methods and we can consume all these properties methods and events on any form where we will be using that component to customize the components look and feel and to get the functionality that is encapsulated inside that component.